and witnessing the faithfulness of those from whom the priesthood has been <coughs> withheld, we have pleaded long and earnestly in behalf of these. Our faithful brethren, spending many hours in the temple, upper room of the temple, supplicating the Lord for divine guidance. He has heard our prayers and by revelation has confirmed that the long promised day has come when every faithful, worthy man in the church may receive the holy priesthood. We have felt to warn and forewarn. In furtherance of this, we of the First Presidency and the Council of the Twelve Apostles now issue a proclamation to the Church and to the world as a declaration and reaffirmation of standards, doctrines, and practices relative to the family which the prophets, seers, and revelators of this Church have repeatedly stated throughout its history. Accordingly, I take this opportunity to announce to the entire Church a program to construct some 30 smaller temples immediately. They will be in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, in Fiji, in Mexico, in Central and South America and Africa, as well as in the United States and Canada. They will have all the necessary facilities to provide the ordinances of the Lord's House. This will be a tremendous undertaking. Nothing even approaching it has ever been tried before. Consequently, if we're raising the bar for your sons to serve as missionary, that means we are also raising the bar for you. If we expect more of them, that means we expect more of you and your wife as well. Remember, Helaman's 2,000 stripling warriors were faithful because they had been taught to keep the commandments of God and to walk uprightly before Him. And that instruction came in their home. I am pleased to announce it effective immediately. All <coughs> worthy and able young men who graduated from high school or as equivalent regardless of where they live, will have the option of being recommended for missionary service beginning at the age of 18 instead of age 19. As we've prayerfully pondered the age at which young men may begin their missionary service, we've also given consideration to the age at which a young woman might serve. Today, I'm pleased to announce that able, worthy young women who have the desire to serve may be recommended for missionary service beginning at age 19 instead of age 21. My message this afternoon is that the Lord is hastening His work. In our day, this can only be done when every member of the Church reaches out with love to share the truths of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a glorious time to be a youth in the Church. You are the first to participate in the youth curriculum, Come Follow Me, which has as one of its main purposes your conversion to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is well to remember that no matter how inspired your parents and youth leaders may be, you have the primary responsibility for your own conversion. No one can be converted for you, and no one can, can force you to become converted. As parents, we can proceed with the assurance God will never leave us alone. God never gives us a responsibility without do offering divine aid. Of that I can testify. May we in our divine role as parents and in partnership with God become the prime gospel teachers and examples for our children.